Coming up on 7 News this morning, one Belmont County man has been sentenced after being delayed for a week. We'll tell you about that in just a couple minutes. But before we get to that, we need to get straight into your weather. Severe storms touched down throughout our area with two tornado warnings in parts of Ohio. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for 7 News this morning. I'm Stephanie Grinley. I'm sure you didn't get much sleep last night, maybe concerned about loved ones. I know I have been up since 1 a.m., so the big question right now is, are we done with the storm? Here's a live look outside right now over Moundsville, where you can see it looks pretty calm. You can see lightning right there in the background. Joining us now for a first look at your forecast is meteorologist Aaron Myler. Aaron, I know you've been working hard over there, so good morning. What do you know? Yeah, when you have all three meteorologists in, in one day, that's yeah. when you know it's pretty <laughs> hectic out here, and it still is at this point in time. We still have storms, but Steph, we're at this point kind of tapering off and moving out of the region a bit more. Take a closer look hours here. It has continued to roll through the region, and as it has, it's still heavy at times, but we're really starting to fall apart, especially on the north end there, as you can see that. Off to our south in the Woodsfield area, you guys still have some heavy rain, but that's really just moving out of your area now and heading towards Athens and Marietta at this point in time. So we still have rain. You still will see some storms, but we're through the thick of it at this point in time out there. Otherwise, with that, though, there is still an aerial flood advisory for the day today. And with that, that's going to go till 815. So you want to make sure you take your time before you head out, because if you don't have to leave, I'd stay in your house this morning and just let all the water trickle down and get out of the area because there just is a lot of water everywhere and it's causing some localized flooding and it could cause some more widespread. Not, we're not looking at anything crazy, not the river, but just a lot of water outside. So just stay inside or take your time if you do have to head out and don't drive through floodwaters. Back to you, Steph. Aaron, very scary last night. And here's a look at the power outages across the Ohio Valley this morning. You can see right there, Ohio County sitting at 60% without power. That's 15,000 without power. And Belmont County has around 10,000 out right now. We will continue to keep you updated on the power outages in our area. So be sure to stay with 7 News and WTRF.com. Along with the power outages across the Ohio Valley, there are obstructions to the roads. The Ohio County Sheriff's Department tells us dispatch is responding to downed trees and power lines, quote, everywhere, especially on the back roads. Power lines are down countywide. I-70 is in the dark right now, and so is most of downtown Wheeling. Ohio County EMA Director Lou Vargo is urging drivers to please be careful when out on the roads because of the harsh conditions. Maybe just stay inside right now. In Belmont County, the Ohio State Highway Patrol says they are not responding to anything major at this time, but stay with us for updates. In Belmont County, officials have been watching the weather patterns closely.